everyone welcome to my youtube channel business and finance with Sharla. my name is Charlene Rofaro Nunama and welcome to our very first series on this channel called how to save money in 2023 if you have been with me from from the very first um, video that i uploaded i'm so so grateful that you're back thank you so much for your support and please do share this channel with your loved ones and if it's your first time here on this channel welcome welcome thank you so so much for being here please please do subscribe to this channel you do not want to miss out on what is coming and please do check the link below in the description where i'm going to show the previous videos that i have um, uploaded you do not want to miss out guys so please do subscribe and please do watch the videos that i posted before so that you understand what is going on and you have a feel of what this channel is all about now today we're going to look at part two of a dollar a day challenge so this method is a bit different from the previous a dollar a day challenge it is different because it has got two cycles only now this method fits people who are mid level or high income earners now even if you're a low income earner you can also try it out as well but then just the cycles are just a bit longer and the amount that you have to put in every month is a bit higher than the first method so i am going to put an image on the screen where it shows how the cycle works and how the challenge works now this is how the challenge works you are still going to need a piggy bank or a tin or a container where you're going to be stuffing your monies okay so this is how the method goes the challenge rather so we are going also going to start it from the 1st of february and finish it on the 31st of december now this is how the first cycle goes from the 1st of december no sorry from the 1st of February to the 28th of February, we are going to be stuffing $1 every single day. And that must give us a total of $28. In the month of March, we are going to increase our savings by another dollar. And we um, are supposed to have $62 by the end of March. And then in our third month of April, we're going to increase our savings amount by a dollar is going to be three dollars every single day that we're going to be stuffing so that must give us a total of 90 dollars at the end of the month of april now our fourth month which will be may we are going to increase our savings amount by a dollar so that means we are going to be stuffing four dollars every single day in the month of may and that must give us a total of 124 dollars and in our fifth month which is june we are going to increase our savings month savings amount again rather by a dollar so that means in the month of june we are going to be stuffing five dollars every single day so at the end of the month we are supposed to be having 150 dollars okay so that will be the end of our first cycle which has five months so at the end of that cycle we are supposed to be having 454 dollars and then we are going to take a break in the month of july and like i said guys saving can be a little bit tough it's a challenge it's something that you have to be consistent with it's something that you have to be doing every single day but you know how life is guys sometimes you have um responsibilities sometimes you have things that need to be paid and you necessarily cannot take out money from your wallet and put it aside because maybe you have urgent um, financial needs so that is the reason why we are taking these breaks between these cycles okay 
So now we're going to move on to our second cycle, which is going to start in August. So from the 1st of August to the 31st of August, we are going to be stuffing $1 every single day. And that must give us a total of $31. And then in, in our second month, which is September, we are going to um, increase our savings by a dollar. That means we're going to be stuffing $2 every single day, which must give us a total of $60. And then we're going to move on to our third month of our second cycle. We're increasing our savings by a dollar, meaning we're going to be stuffing $3 every single day in the month of October. Um, and our total at the end of the month that we would have saved is supposed to be 30, sorry, $93 rather. And we're going to move on to our fourth month of our second cycle which has 30 days so that means we are supposed to have 120 dollars by the end of november and then lastly we move on to our last month of our second cycle of the year which is december we increase our savings by a dollar meaning from the first of december to the 31st of december we are supposed to be stuffing five dollars every single day and our total savings for that month is supposed to be $155, right? So the total money that we would have saved in our second cycle for the year is supposed to be $459. Now we are going to combine, remember, when we take our break from saving, which is in the month of July, that does not mean you use that money guys you need to keep that money you cannot open your piggy bank you have to open your piggy bank at the end of this year okay so that means in our first cycle we had a total of 454 dollars and then in our second cycle we had a total of 459 dollars so if we combine the two cycles we would have saved 913 dollars by the end of the year guys and if i'm to convert that into rands that is going to give me a total of 15,521 rands guys so if you are serious and if you want to start this challenge with me please do type yes in the comments and let's do this together guys let's save money this year and let's not be in a situation where we're borrowing in january we're looking for money for things because we would have saved this money throughout the year. So I look forward to this, guys. I look forward to starting this challenge with you. Now, I know you're probably wondering, okay, so we already have a dollar challenge for low income earners that I posted before this. And we now have this new dollar challenge day. So what you do is, if you are capable and if you are willing, you can do both. You can do both of these challenges. You just have to have two different containers where you're saying, okay, uh, I'm going to put a dollar on the left one. I'm going to put a dollar on the right one. Okay. Or you can choose which challenge suits you best because you understand your own financial situation. You know how your money is on a day-to-day -day basis. So you can choose which method works best for you. I'm so, so excited about this, guys. Please do let me know in the comment section if you're going to start this challenge with me. And please do let me know which challenge you're going to choose. Are you going to choose the one with the three cycles or are you going to choose the one with the two cycles? Now, thank you so, so much, guys, for watching. And please do subscribe to this channel. Please do like this video. And I will see you in the next upload. Bye.